This is the Opel Grandland X, a German SUV with lots of great features and it is a 5 seater SUV having lots of great safety features also. Hey guys, you are watching MHB Auto Vlogs. If you end up liking our video, be sure to like, share and subscribe. Hit on the bell icon and be a part of our notification squad. So the, well, the Opel Grandland X is competing with the likes of Hyundai Tucson and the Kia Sportage and Peugeot 308. And uh, this uh, SUV is having a very good engine. It's having a 1.6 turbocharged engine. And the 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 price is starting from 89900 and this is a top end variant it's called the innovation plus it's going up to 99900 uh, dirham inclusive in, inclusive of vat well in this review we'll uh, check out the interiors exteriors and the performance and we'll ch check out the it's uh, 99900 price tag worth now talking about the design of the Opel uh, Grand and X, we are having the signature grille of the Opel and the huge logo of the Opel over here and there are tiny fog lamps over here and there are some uh, chrome stuff near the uh, fog lamp uh, housing and these are the headlamps with cornering function and uh, there, there are uh, uh, DRL housing is also available which very looks very stunning and appealing and this car is having a great road presence also. Now talking about the side profile of the Opel Grand Land X, well it looks very stunning and it's perfect from the uh, every proportion must say and we are having the uh, this 18 r18 inch alloy wheels which looks very classy and is a uh, aluminium uh, finish which is looks quite exceptional and uh, talking about the dimensions well uh, uh, the length of this car is 4.5 meters and uh, width is 1.8 meters and the uh, height is 1.6 meter and we are having 2.6 meters of wheelbase which is quite good considering the size of this car and uh, there are some standard features also available we are having the uh, uh, keyless entry for the uh, for both driver and the front passenger and the electronic foldable mi mirrors are also uh, available which is quite good and this is uh, the this is the indicator uh, uh, light over here and there are a lot of uh, chrome garnish here uh, running around the window lines and there is a plastic cladding give a more appealing and uh, suv kind of look which looks very exceptional and in this car we are having a total 53 liters of uh, uh, fuel capacity you can uh, put up to and uh, here we are having the shark fin antenna also and this is a all black color uh, roof uh, roof uh, in, in, the, in the top end variant only there is a dual color uh, roof is available now talking about the rear profile well the rear profile is quite decent and very minimal design it's, uh, it has given and these are the combination of black black color and the uh, blue color gives a very good contrast for the car and this is a huge logo for the Opel and here there is a very nice looking uh, tail lamps is available this is a LED housing as well and uh, here we have the diffuser over here and uh, uh, here the fake exhaust kind of thing and uh, most standard feature in this car is the uh, you can activate the tailgate by your foot quite good and well, uh, the highlight uh, thing in this car is a uh, 514 liters of boot space, which is quite uh, huge. And uh, moreover, we are having here uh, the 60-40 split is all also available, which can now uh, after you split the second row seats, you can have up to 1,650 liters of cargo space, which is quite good for your adventures and everything. Quite great. And just one click. This is electronic tailgate, so quite a handy feature also. Now talking about the interior design of the Opel Grandland X, well the interior is pretty top notch quality and uh, the materials has been used, it's very, all the soft touch materials is quite good in this car and well the, the as this is a German car so there are, there are a lot of expectations we are having so but the, it, it exceeds the expectations of mine because there are a lot of uh, design is very minimal and you are having lots of great features and there is a good uh, instrument cluster here, mm -hmm. uh, there, are, there is tachometer, the speedometer and the fuel gauge and the temperature of the uh, car and there are a lot of uh, great readout and this is a 8 inch infotainment system uh, which is having a lot of great features the satellite navigation uh, apple carplay and uh, android auto and there are a whole lot of uh, practicalities also available here we are having a big glove box and the chilling facilities is also available it is done by the air conditioner itself and the seats are pretty good these are heated and ventilated seats as a uh, uh, sports sport very sporty seats and you are, you are also having the, the knee so knee support also which is quite good now uh, talking about the air conditioning in, in this opal uh, grandland x we are having a dual zone climate control which is uh, 
and uh, there are heated and ventilated seats is also available cooling and the heating facility which is quite good and the AC is quite good in this UAE humid climate and this, these are the buttons which is uh, the having very good haptic feedback uh, whenever you are pressing the buttons and all and this is a 8 speed automatic gearbox we will discuss whenever to take this car for a ride and there are a whole lot of features they are having electronic uh, brake is available uh, the traction control the uh, the tire pressure monitoring system is available and and there is a lane departure assist and the parking assist and uh, there is a 360 degree camera in this car so making the parking a whole lot easier and here we are having uh, wireless charger also available and there is a, a lot of compartment here and you are having the cubby holes over here and there is a USB charging socket for the uh, Android Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay you can connect via, via, by wire and there is a 12 watt uh, charging socket is also available and there is a panoramic sunroof also available full size panoramic sunroof which is quite good Talking about the steering of the Opel Grand Land X, well the steering is quite good, it's a leather wrapped steering and there are a lot of stitching here, looks very premium and it's having very good haptic feedback whenever you're driving, you're maneuvering around the traffic, it's quite a fun to drive car and uh, there is a, this is the volume control and this is the infotainment control for the audio system and all, there is a uh, voice commands available and there is a speed limiter uh, feature is available, cruise control and lots of memory function also available and the CD is automatically uh, electronically adjustable and ha is having memory function also which is quite a decent feature and here we are having the uh, controls for our uh, headlamps and this is the brightness control for the our instrument cluster and moreover uh, we are having uh, one check system is available where you can ch you can check the uh, check the vehicle if there is any fault and all it's a pretty handy feature you can check the repairs and the service when you are having the next service Lots of great feature and one of the most standout feature in this car I saw is it it's monitors the speed limits of the road. Well, well it's a quite a money saving feature. Whenever you're driving on the road, if you don't don't saw the board, if you exceed the limit, then you will be fine here in the UE. So quite a great great feature in this car. Now we are having uh, we are having a great sound system in this car. It's, we are having total seven speakers in this car, so uh, sound is pretty good. So entertainment system is uh, quite good. There are total four airbags available in this car and we are having the adaptive cruise control and uh, 360 degree camera is available and we are also having the lane departure warnings and the uh, blind spot monitoring system and uh, rear uh, cross uh, traffic alerts also available and a whole lot of uh, great features available in this car. Now I'm in the second row of the Opel Grand Line X. So the seats are uh, quite comfortable for this even for the second rows. And the seat, it's all other seats and uh, here we are having uh, the armrest and the cup holders over here and there is the second row AC is also available which is quite good for the UAE weather conditions and all and yeah, we are having one uh, USB outlet for the charging and all and uh, quite good and, uh, one, and one more thing the, the space here for the leg room and the head room quite exceptional i really impressed and uh, comfort has been very well taken for for, for the second row passenger also and we are having some uh, hidden storages for the second row passenger of here and we can keep some bottle holders in the side quite impressed stick the opal grand land x for a spin well the opal grand land x is powered by a four cylinder 1.6 turbocharged engine which puts out 163 bhp of power and 240 newton meter of torque well in the initial impression the engine is pretty punchy well the responsiveness is quite good and uh, moreover it's mated to a 8 speed automatic gearbox which is quite a good gearbox uh, having a very good uh, gear shifting uh, is pretty good in this car and moreover the steering of this car is quite phenomenal well the responsiveness especially i really like it and moreover uh, the there are a lot of cool safety features is available in this car well the blind spot monitoring system the uh, the rear, rear traffic alert the lane departure warnings and the uh, rear tra traffic alerts is also available make this car quite as easy to drive for for the new new driver driving license holder also
So the top speed of the Grand Line is, is up to 201 kilometers per hour. It can go, and it's having a great fuel economy. Well, the quite significant part is the fuel economy, and it's having around 14 kilometers per just a liter of petrol. And this that means this car is a very fuel efficient car, and the steering responsiveness is quite good, and the suspension is very well optimized, and it soaks the potholes, the road imperfections pretty well. Quite impressive. Oh, the things I like, like about the Opel. Uh, Grand Line X it's great features well the, and the interior is quite good and the uh, road presence the looks of this car the exterior is quite phenomenal I really like it and the space in this car is quite great and the safety is top notch it's got the four star in the euro and cab ratings so it's decent enough must say so my final verdict on the uh, Opel Grand Line X it's a great SUV with having which is having lot of great features and lot of safety is also available and the driving and the passenger ergonomics is pretty good in this car and moreover the uh, five years extended warranty of Opel makes a heck of a proposition and one more thing it's uh, having uh, lots of uh, performance is also pretty good in this car and the fuel economy is quite impressive and hope you like the video useful like share and subscribe hit on the bell icon and be a part of our notification squad thank you so much and stay safe